What's up guys, Christian here with River Pools, and if you're doing your homework considering a pool for your backyard, you might be asking, what are the monthly electrical costs going to be? Well, I'm going to tell you what you can expect on this episode of Two Minutes in the Pool. So how much is your pool going to affect your electric bill at the end of the swimming season? I'm going to set two minutes on my clock and try to give you the answer before the timer goes off. Let's do it. All right, so there's four different factors that could affect your electric bill during the summer months, and they are number one, variable speed pumps, number two, single speed pumps, number three, heat pumps, and number four, an in-ground hot tub. So let's talk about variable speed pumps. This is probably the most efficient way to filter the pool water. And that's because with two different speeds, it allows you to save on electric consumption while you're filtering your pool. So you can bump up the speed, say if you're vacuuming your pool or you need a higher turnover rate, meaning you need to filter that water faster if you have a lot of swimmers, you can bump up the speed and use up just a little bit more electricity and then afterward back it back down to that slower speed as opposed to a single speed pump which is going to run at a constant rate 24 7. A variable speed pump could cost you anywhere from 30 to 50 dollars a month to operate while a single speed pump could cost anywhere from 75 to 150 dollars to operate. Now let's talk about heat pumps which is a typical common option for heating the pool water and a heat pump uh, because it uses solely electricity to heat the water could cost anywhere in the range of up to 50 to 250 dollars a month depending on how warm you're trying to keep your pool. Now folks typically use these to get the pool started early in the season and to extend swimming season into the fall. The last thing that could affect your electric bill is if you have an in-ground hot tub incorporated into your pool package. Now there's definitely no cut it dry answer to how much this will affect your electric cost as in-ground hot tubs and hot tubs in general require a lot of energy to maintain constant temperature. You can expect to spend upwards of $300, a range probably one to 300 perhaps in heating an in-ground hot tub. Hey, I'm Christian with River Pools. That was two minutes in the pool. That's the timer. I'll see you on the next episode. Catch the wave. All right.